In the past, researchers have discovered natural products essentially by luck, just by growing up any bacteria they can make their hands on and hoping that they make a new natural product. But now that we know the genomes of these bacteria, we can look into those genomes and predict which ones are going to make new natural products and what genes they use to make those natural products. However, to study the molecules, we first need to isolate them before we can study uh, their properties. This is where robotics comes in handy. By automating the process of password refactoring, we could do it in a much more high throughput manner than one person would be able to do by hand. Password refactoring can be achieved by putting a promoter in front of each gene, which could in principle turn on the expression of every gene, resulting in the expression of the natural product in a bacterium. In order to accelerate the rate of password refactoring, we took advantage of a modern DNA assembly method called Golden Gate Assembly and implemented on a laboratory robotic system for refactoring of 96 natural product pathways simultaneously. The whole experimental workflow was first validated by hand and then has been smoothly transferred to the laboratory robotic system. Uh, by using this workflow, we could not only increase the throughput, but also increase the reproducibility and accuracy. Finally, we could make 96 plasmids in a single batch that could be tested for expression of the natural product. We're able to isolate 27 new compounds from this plasmid and out of these 27 we tested antimicrobial activity of six of them against the panel of escape pathogens so the escape pathogens are basically multi-drug resistant bacteria that are involved in most hospital acquired infections and out of the six that we tested antimicrobial activity for we found that three of them possessed uh, uh, were antibiotic and very effective at killing certain members of the escape pathogens, including Klebsiella pneumonia. And out of that three, again, one of them should had the highest power or showed the highest power to kill this uh, Klebsiella pneumonia with concentrations in the low micromolar regions. Uh, it's been a lot of fun to work on a big collaboration. It's uh, rather than just working on my own science in a little bubble. Uh, it's a lot more fun to bounce ideas off of people uh, and hear their thoughts on a subject. Uh, it also means that it's a lot, your ideas are a lot more likely to work. It's also been a lot of fun to work in a lab environment with different people from different labs doing a lot of different things because it just exposes you to all the different things that you can do with chemistry and biology.